Hello friends, today I'm going to discuss animal husbandry and poultry farming which is a uh, which will be useful for IPPS SO AFO examination 2019. Uh, these are the short, uh, short notes which is prepared by me and I hope it will be useful for all of you. Now under animal husbandry we all know we taking consideration in uh, consideration of these animals so cows, buffaloes, goats, sheep, swine, turkeys and chickens. Now come to the important points of animal husbandry and let's start with their mature body weight, age of different species and uh, their species name etc. Now come to the first uh, here uh, I'm Deb I here summarize uh, all the points of animal husbandry try to summarize uh, all the important points of animal husbandry um, in a short notes so now come to the first species name their mature body weight mature year mature age and maximum lifespan of these animals first come to the dairy cattle their species name is false indicus and their mature body weight consists of 464 to 5, 653 kg and their age of maturity is 5 years and their maximum lifespan of uh, dairy cattle is 30 years and uh, second is chicken and their species name is gallus domesticus and their mature body weight is 1.5 to 3 kg and their age of maturity is 25 to 30 weeks and their maximum lifespan is 30 years Third one is goat, a species name is Capra hircus. Their mature body weight consists of 26 to 102 kg and their age of maturity is 2 years and their maximum lifespan is 18 years. Sheep, common name, species name of sheep is Ovis aries but their mature body weight is 34 to 80 kg and their age of maturity is 2 years and they leave maximum a uh, life of uh, 20 years and now come to the fifth species uh, animal that is swine species name is sus sacrofa their mature body weight is 70 to 128 kg and their age of maturity is not known and their maximum lifespan is 27 years last one is turkey species name is melegius gallopavo and their mature body weight is 5 to 14.8 kg and their age of maturity is 28 to 35 weeks and their maximum lifespan is 12.3 years now come to the gestation and heat period of various animals gestation uh, period of buffalo is uh, around 310 days which is uh, approximate uh, 10 months and uh, gestation period of cow is to, uh, 283 days uh, which is uh, approximately uh, equal to 9 months and mayor gestation period of mayor is uh, approximately 11 months it uh, means 336 days and uh, e gestation period of eve is 5 months and for doe it's uh, 5 months and for swine it is approximately 4 months means 114 days in months uh, it should be easy to remember that's why here I uh, write uh, months instead of uh, along with days now come to the start with cattle and uh, firstly start with breeds of cattle so there is basically uh, three breeds of cattle uh, Indian breed exotic and improved breed Indian breed consists of uh, Indian breeds are Saiwal, Ki, Red Sindhi and Thar Parker later uh, we will um, uh, classify detail in these uh, cattle breeds and the exotic breed consists of Holstein, Friesen, Jersey, Swiss, etc. And improved breeds of cattle are current Swiss, which is a cross between a brown Swiss and Sahiwal, current Fries and Friesval. These are the improved breeds uh, which are obtained by cross of two different crossing of two different breeds. Now come to the further classification of cattle breed on the purpose of their use. Now, if uh, we talk about the purpose, there are four classification of uh, breeds, cattle breeds, milk breed, drought purpose, dual purpose and exotic breed. Now come to the first milk breed. Milk breeds are those breeds which is mainly uh, reared for, mainly reared or grown for the purpose of uh, milk production. Now, there are three milk breeds which is uh, commonly found in India, Gir, Red, Sindhi and Saival. Gir is commonly distributed among the Gujarat, Red Sindhi among the Karachi and Hyderabad and Red Sindhi among 
Karachi and Hyderabad and Sahiwal uh, and distributed among Montgomery, Haryana and Punjab and UP and their milk yields are written here and come to the drought purpose read which are commonly used in India uh, these are Halikar used in South India Kangyam distributed in Tamil Nadu Hel Malavi originated in Madhya Pradesh and Amrit Mahal which is used in Karnataka for drought purpose and for dual purpose there are basically five types of breed which is uh, uh, which, which is used in India Kangres uh, distributed among Gujarat, Mewati in Rajasthan, Thar Parker in Sindh, Ongol in Andhra Pradesh and Haryana in Hisari Karnal. So these were the dual purpose breeds of cattle. Now come to the exotic breeds of cattle, Holston Friesian, which is uh, originally, uh, which is the breed of uh, actually, which are the exotic breeds and uh, imported from Netherlands or comes from originated in Netherlands and Ayrshire, which is the breed of Scotland, and Bronzes is the breed of Switzerland, and Jersey is the breed of Iceland of Jersey. So uh, these were the breeds of cattle. Now come to the housing system of cattle. Uh, for uh, their housing system of dairy cattle, there are two types of housing systems used for the dairy cattle: loose housing systems and conventional dairy barn system. Okay, and now here we see the clear cut difference between the loose housing system and conventional dairy barn system. In loose housing system, as its name indicates, a system where animals are kept loose except milking and at the time of treatment. So these are called loose housing system. And in conventional dairy barn system, animals are tied with rope. And if you talk about the cattle shed in uh, these two types of system, in loose housing system, cattle sheds, entire shed should be surrounded by a boundary wall of 5 inch height from 3 side and manger except on one side. Here a manger space is 2 to 2 and half feet per cow is available and along with 10 inch wide water through provide clean even available drinking water. Near the manger under the roofed house, 5 inch wide floor should be paved with bricks having a little slope and also should have an open unpaved area, 30, 40 uh, to 35 feet surrounded by 5 feet wall with one gate. Now come to the uh, types of uh, animals and floor space provided in the loose housing systems for them. Now for cause, covered area is provided in loose housing system is around 20 to 30 square feet per cow and in open area is 80 to 100 square feet. Now for book hollows, there is 25 to 35 square feet area uh, covered area and 80 to 100 square feet for open area. For young stock, there is 15 to 20 uh, square feet covered area and 50 to 60 open area. Pregnant for pregnant cause, uh, covered area and open area both are more. Covered areas uh, 100 to 120 square feet and open area is 180 to 200 square feet. For bull pen, covered area is 120 to 140 square feet and open area is 200 to 250 square feet. Uh, so these were the description of loose housing system now come to the uh, conventional dairy farm system where animals are tied with rope uh, if you talk about the cattle shed cow sheds are arranged in a single row 80 to 100 uh, cows should be placed in one building it may be single row or double row housing tail to tail or head to head system 65 to 70 square feet per adult cow floor space is available Roof 8 feet at the side and 15 feet at the edge is sufficient for proper ventilation. Manger, if we talk about the manger, uh, 2 feet 2, 2 and a half inch is sufficient. Alley central walk should have a width of 5 to 6 feet of gutters where cows face out and 5 to 4 to 5 inch they were in facing. De do single in single uh, row system, 5 inch wide uh, doors are used in double row 8 to 9 inch wide rows uh, wide doors are used carving box uh, size of carving box is around 100 to 150 square feet and isolation size of isolation box is also 150 square feet set of youngsters uh, in a conventional dairy system there is a uh, sets of uh, there is availability of sets of youngsters separate space 
सो फॉर द फॉर थ्री मंथ्स यंगस्टर और फॉर द थ्री मंथ यंग स्टॉक स्पेस इज ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव स्क्वायर फिट टॉप सेट्स एंड फॉर थ्री टू सिक्स मंथ्स यंगस्टर ट्वेंटी फाइव टू थर्टी स्क्वायर फिट स्पेस इज प्रोवाइडेड एंड फॉर सिक्स टू ट्वेल्व मंथ थर्टी टू फोर्टी स्क्वायर फिट स्पेस इज प्रोवाइडेड फॉर यंग स्टॉक एंड फॉर वन ईयर यंग स्टॉक फोर्टी टू फोर्टी फाइव स्क्वायर फिट सेड इज अवेलेबल स्पेसिस आर वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू बिकॉज इन वेरियस एग्जामिनेशन एरिया और स्पेस अवेलेबल और शुड बी सफिसियंट फॉर कॉज फॉर फॉलोज और अदर एनिमल्स आर आस्क एवरी टाइम सो यू शुड गिवन प्रॉपर इम्पर्सिस ऑन द स्पेसिस प्रोवाइडेड फॉर द फॉर दोज एनिमल्स ओके नाउ कम टू द लाइफ स्टॉक न्यूट्रिशन दे आर बेसिकली इन लाइफ स्टॉक न्यूट्रिशन कंसिस्ट थ्री थ्री थिंग्स रेफेजेज ड्राई रेफेज एंड कॉन्सेंट्रेट्स रेफेजेज आर दोज विच कंटेन लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ लेस डाइजेस्टेबल प्रोटीन्स एंड इट इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स सकलेंट्स एंड साइलेस सकलेंट्स आर दोज फोडर्स विच कंसिस्ट ग्रेटर दैन नाइन्टी परसेंट मॉइस्चर एंड एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ सकलेंट्स आर पास्चर फोडर क्रॉप्स ट्री लिप्स एंड रूट क्रॉप्स एक्सेट्रा एंड साइलेज ऑप्टेन बाय प्रिपेयरिंग फ्रेश फोडर इन ए कंटेनर कंडीशन वेर इट इज अलॉट फर्मेंटेड अंडर एरोबिक कंडीशन विदाउट लूजिंग द न्यूट्रेंट्स सो दीज आर द रेफेज इन रेफेज फ्रूट फाइबर इज ग्रेटर दैन एटीन परसेंट एंड कम टू द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ लाइफ स्टॉक न्यूट्रिशन ड्राई रेफेज ड्राई रेफेज मेनली कंटेन हे एंड स्ट्रॉ एंड देर इज मॉइस्चर कंटेंट इज लेस दैन फिफ्टीन परसेंट नाउ कम टू द कंसनट्रेट कंसनट्रेट इज एक्चुअली ए फीड मिक्सचर और विच सप्लाई प्राइमरी न्यूट्रेंट्स एट हाई लेवल प्रोटीन कार्बोहाइड्रेट एंड फैट एंड इन विच क्रूट फाइबर इज लेस दैन एटीन परसेंट एंड लो मॉइस्चर कंटेंट देर इज लो मॉइस्चर कंटेंट इन मिक्सचर कंसनट्रेट्स आर क्लासीफाइड फर्दर क्लासीफाइड इन टू टू टाइप्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ प्रेजेंस ऑफ क्रूट फाइबर इन दैम फर्स्ट इज एनर्जी रिच कॉन्सेंट्रेट एंड सेकेंड इज प्रोटीन रिच कॉन्सेंट्रेट एनर्जी रिच कॉन्सेंट्रेट कंटेन लेस दैन एटीन परसेंट क्रूड फाइबर एंड प्रोटीन रिच कॉन्सेंट्रेट कंटेन ग्रेटर दैन एटीन परसेंट क्रूड फाइबर एंड एनर्जी रिच सब्सटांसिस आर ग्रेन सीड्स पान फ्लोर होल मिल मॉलिस फ्रूट्स एक्सेट्रा आफ्टर आफ्टर लाइफ स्टॉक न्यूट्रिशन now comes to the feeding uh, processes of livestock feeding process consists of uh, uh, two types of ration maintaining ration and production ration maintaining ration is provided for non producing animals and uh, production ration is provided for producing animals maintaining ration contain uh, digestible crude protein approx 0.25 kg and total digestible nutrients is 3 kg for 400 kg weighted animals and in production प्रोडक्शन राशन फॉर प्रोड्यूसिंग एनिमल्स फॉर इफ यू टॉक अबाउट मिल्च क्रॉप काउ ग्रेन मस्ट बी वन के जी फॉर एवरी थ्री के जी ऑफ मिल्क एंड प्लस वन के जी ऑफ कॉन्सेंट्रेट एंड ड्राई प्लस ड्राई मेटर विच शुड बी प्रोवाइडेड अकॉर्डिंग टू बडी वेट विच इज़ टू पॉइंट फाइव के जी फॉर एवरी हंड्रेड के जी बडी वेट सो दीज टू टाइप्स ऑफ राशन प्रोवाइडेड फॉर द लाइफ स्टॉक फॉर देर production maintaining their production and growth so after discussing livestock production uh, livestock nutrition uh, feeding pro feeding processor uh, now come to the breeding system in livestock breeding system is also important in the point of uh, for the point of view uh, for example uh, which type of uh, breeding system is found in Uh, mainly based on types of breeding system or purpose of breeding system in livestock is mainly to evolve outstanding and improved types of animals there are two types of breeding system in breeding and out breeding in breeding system is mating of close related individuals means uh, within 4 to 6 generation of mating is called in breeding and out breeding breeding of unrelated individuals in breeding is further classified into two types close breeding and line breeding close breeding uh, means mating of full sister to full brother brother and line breeding mating of animals of wider degrees of relationship and if you talk about the out breeding which is a breeding of unrelated individuals it is also of two types out cross breeding and cross breeding um outcross breeding mating of unrelated pure breed animals within the same breed and mating of animals of different breeds is called cross breeding and now another types of um, 
maintaining a report in the uh, other types so you now come to the other types which help in the producing high uh, high yielding or high uh, desired desired calf or uh, young ones by artificial insemination insemination ai ai is the introduction of semen of desired bull breed to the females of cattle of other breed up to 300 females can be fertilized from semen collected from the one bull consumption rate in ai is 15 to 50 to 75 percent now come to the common disease of cattle cattle there are only you know, mainly uh, these types of disease found in cattle which can be economical to or economical for cattle first the bacterial disease which is caused by bacteria as anthrax tb black water mastitis these are the bacterial disease and their causal organism is bacteria viral diseases are fnd foot and mouth disease and render pest and protozoan disease tryptosomiasis somiasis trypanosomiasis and fungal disease is ringworm these are the diseases of cattle and come to the estrus cycle in cattle is the most important cycle in cattle uh, cattle which consists of four phages proestrus estrus metastrus and diastrus here um, i mentioned about uh, only duration of uh, these cycles because most of the examination only uh, they ask uh, how long these periods uh, or these phases uh, are uh, uh, how long these uh, phases are going that's why Uh, that's why I I have here only mention about uh, the duration of these phases. Proestrus cycle ends within two to five days. Estrus cycle in twelve to eighteen days, and metastrus cycle ends in three to four days, and diastrus cycle ten to fifteen days. Now, so in these uh, four phases, the longest phase is diastrus, and estrus is the reproductive phase where in which uh, a uh, cow receives the semen from the bull or it is the phase where where it is the phase of mating some uh, now come to the some other related points for cattle husbandry lactation period uh, total lactation period is around 280 days in a year and uh, rather than lactation period uh, lactation period is a period where cow produces milk that is called lactation period and uh, it is the period of first fertilization to the next pregnancy it may be called so lactation period of cow is around 280 days in a year and dehorning dehorning is a process of removal of horns now it can be done by three methods electrical chemical and mechanical method for chemical dehorning use caustic soda for mechanical dehorning use clippers saws and rubber bands and used electrical dehorning electrical dehorners are used and dispeding dispeding arresting of horn growth at any early stage is called dispeding castration castration means removal of testes is called castration uh, it is done by using bertijo castrator it is an equipment used for removing testes and uh, we bedding or litter to keep animals clean and comfortable so it was all about animal husbandry it was all about cattle uh in later video i will discuss about buffaloes and other animals of animal husbandry so if you like this video please subscribe my channel i hope you enjoyed this video thank you